Today we are going to turn this dirty electric box into this vibrant artwork. I've been painting these boxes for two and a half years now and I definitely feel like I learned a thing or two over time. I took over the electric box painting commissions from Smo when he stopped doing them so thanks again my friend for sending business my way. I'm sure a lot of you know Smo already, but definitely check him out if you don't. He's a phenomenal artist and he did help me a lot kicking off my art commissions business. Having people help you along the way is invaluable and especially so if they know a ton more than you do. So thank you very much Smo for all your help. Welcome back to another day of electricity box painting. Uh, I'm gonna do a commission today. Uh, weather's supposed to be quite nice uh, for the entire week actually. So spring is finally here and I figured it's a good time to get some work done. Um, started the day off with a little bit of back pain. Uh, I actually had that for a few days. So we will see how that goes. Yeah, just looking forward to get some work done. I live about 20 minutes outside the city, so I'm usually taking advantage of my commute to wherever the painting location is, and I have breakfast in my car on my way there. Dankeschön. Tschüss. Gerne. Gerne. What? Okay, so let's have a quick look at the box and see what we're dealing with today. Wow, that's it. That's super dirty. Like, this is super dirty, dude. Okay. Let's do this. First step, cleaning and sanding it down. So I'm just using a few stripes of old carpet here that really helps to protect the floor from paint dripping down. Man, I'm moving like I'm 80 years old today. What the heck?
By the way, sorry for the wind noise. I guess I kind of had my GoPro settings messed up. Uh, and unfortunately, there's only so much you can do to filter out this wind noise in post. So, yeah, sorry for that. I hope it isn't too bad. I used this undercoat to make the spray paint stick really well and the white background makes the colors really pop and really vibrant. Okay, so the primer is on here. We're gonna let that dry now. And then in about half an hour, we can start painting with uh, spray paint on it. By the way, whenever you're painting in the field, just put your used roller and brushes into a freezer bag like this, so you won't have to clean it right away. Okay, there's a parking spot right in front of my electricity box. Waited about half an hour and I think we're ready to start painting on this thing. Let's do this! So to bring that motif on the utility box, I'm going to use my dot grid system again. That worked awesome last time. So it's probably gonna save me a lot of time in the future. The way this works is very simple. Um, I've got a piece of plywood and I drilled holes in it. And then by spraying through these holes, you can bring the dot grid onto the box very easily. I'm putting the same grid as a graphic overlay onto my concept art I paint off of. Probably helps to use a can that's not empty. I generally try to get everything done in a day, so I can't afford to lose too much time sketching out my first lines. This is basically why I use this system. Okie dokie. So, and everything I have to do now is use these points for orientation and slowly transfer my motif onto the box. As far as the background goes, it doesn't really have to look the same, like my reference. In the end, it's just like sky and cloud, so that's fine. But the statue is definitely something I need to paint as is, because this statue is 
kind of a site in town and everyone knows what it looks like. So there's not a lot of room for artistic interpretation here. This part of the artwork is fairly detailed, so I'm going to use brushes here. This just makes life so much easier. And you can simply use the spray paint you've already got with you, but keep in mind the solvent in the lacquer will make it dry out quickly, basically as soon as it gets in touch with oxygen. And that means it'll destroy your brushes. So I'm using the cheapest ones I can get, and I just toss them out once I'm done. And the same goes for my little paint cups there. These are simple espresso cups. Thank you. If you enjoy these electric box painting videos, it would help a lot if you give my video a thumbs up. Um, that helps me and my channel probably more than you might think. So thank you for doing that. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna put a varnish on and call it a day. Always forget to take these off.
See, this is where the lock is. And this just covers it up. See ya, buddy. I'm ready to go home now. I'm starving. successful day uh, I'm feeling quite exhausted the thing with uh, painting electric boxes is all the cleaning and prep work just takes so much time before you can actually start painting so I'm always very very happy when I manage to finish a box in a day uh, by the way let me know in the comments if you like these POV style uh, painting videos. If you enjoy these, I'm more than happy to make them whenever I go out painting. I'm headed home now. I'm gonna get gas, I'm gonna get food, and I'm gonna relax. So I see you in the next video. Peace.